guys welcome back hope you guys have a great weekend after this video i'm gonna be doing a four-way switch this one is not stabbing unfortunately but um has the little plates so i'll be showing you how to do a four-way switch and um right here you have two sets of um travelers so basically for a four-way switch it's basically just a three-way switch interrupted so at the front door you have a three-way and then you have a three-way right there. So basically it's just interrupting the three-way switch and um, you have to keep the two travelers together, the two sets of travelers together. So as you can see this, this wire right here is tied together, twisted together, and this wire is twisted together. So that's the way you wanna do it. And then I will go ahead and show you how to do this and hopefully this doesn't fall down. I'm just gonna set it down right here and uh, let's get to it. So let's hopefully that focuses. There we go, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and start stripping these out real quick. So I'll just leave these long. So I always like to cut the ends of the tips off and then Go to your 14. I have 14 wire here, so I'm going to go into the 14 gauge. And then the same thing on these two. And then, of course, strip um, or clean off the ground for paint so it can have a good connection. And then I'm just going to go ahead and curl this in the strippers. So all my wires are ready. I'm going to go ahead and clean this real quick just so I don't break anything or damage the wall. So I'm going to get my full square here and then I'll probably just take my strippers here and kind of clean that up. Right team. So now I'm going to take the switch out of the box. I need to start out with the ground. Um, this has a plate. Uh, I'm not to drop my phone, I lost my phone, but this has a plate in between it. For some reason it's stuck. So I'm just going to try to get this ground wire in between this plate. Like such, except uh, it's hitting something, so I have to loosen it real quick. I don't think this is going to work. No, nope, of course not. So, just trying to get this twisted all the way around. I mean, it would probably be fine if I just left it, but there we go. So, I just wanted to get it all the way out, crimp it, and then I'm just going to tighten it down. Try not to stab myself. Just go nice and tight as you can. And then you're gonna go, so here's the part that really matters. You're gonna take one set and you wanna keep them on the same color. So either, either color doesn't matter um, for the set. So the set can go to both gold screws or both black screws, but you have to keep them on the same color of screws. So let's ground a little bit long. So I'm just going to start by putting it in. Probably use my drill here just to try to speed things up a little bit here for you. So I'm going to put that black on that side, red on this side. I don't know why I'm trying to do this one-handed. That's I feel like I have a phone in my hand, but I don't. So that's weird. So first set is in on the gold screws. You can see that, and then the second set. Um, I'll just switch the colors for no reason. I'm going to put the black on this one and then the red on this one. And then you're going to want to go through and just tighten this down because uh, as you can see I'm getting like half a turn out of this almost. Uh, unless you have like a square bit, but still I don't even trust that. 
Um, if you get, have a little tiny square bit, it'll fit right in there and it tightens better, but I still like to go behind it and tighten it down with a flat blade just to make sure it's tight all the way, all the tightness. So I'm on my last one right here, probably hands in the way, so I'm sorry. So that's all done. So I got one set, one set on the blacks, one set on the golds, ground screw. And then you're gonna wanna look for the word that says top and the top says on over here. So this is the way I'm putting it in. And then you're just gonna want to tighten it to the wall. And the bottom. Sure it's not loose looks pretty good and then you can always use your screwdriver to level it out or your channel locks uh, almost bumped it bumped it a little bit but you can always use your channel locks don't grab anything that'll damage it but you can grab the outside and twist it one way or the other if it's crooked this one is actually a little bit so i'm just going to grab it twist it like that and then i'm going to try to grab my level real quick and just Set it right here on the side of the switch to see if it's level, which it's not. So, kind of scooting but one way or the other too fast. So, so sort of right there. And then I kind of like to always t uh, lock it in place, just tighten it a little bit. Kind of when you're moving it around, it can get loose a little bit. So, nice and tight, give it a wiggle, maybe double check it. And then it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the cover plate. And I like this kind because it kind of has the screws already set in place so you don't have to worry about it too much trying to put the screws in. So, do that one. And then this one. And then you're just going to want to uh, make the screw straight up and down. It always looks good. So The only thing I don't like about these plastic ones is it kind of sucks in. It looks bad. Because you don't want the screws sticking out. You want the screws flush with the plate. But for some of these, um, it just sucks it in way too far. So go ahead and straighten that up real quick. I'm trying here, folks. So that's not too bad. And then just double check your cover, which it's not really level. So you can always try to push it a little bit with your hand or with your level. So. So it looks pretty good right there. And these are some really stiff switches. I don't know why. So anyways, that looks pretty good. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just double checking this. Looks pretty good. All right, so pick up the phone here. So here is the final product here. So it doesn't have a, doesn't say on or off, just like the three ways. So um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, sorry. Uh, it's kind of long, but I mean, that's how you install a switch. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this, hope, hopefully this helped you out. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe. See you guys back on Monday. Uh, but I might, no, I'll probably try to work on a video over the weekend. So I will see you guys later. Going for a Corvette ride. So expect to see a video Saturday night, Sunday. So hold me to that. God bless, guys. Don't forget everything you need is in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Almost at 600. Um, so if you help me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Giveaway at 1,000 and beard shave. And that's about it. All right. See you later.